What's up guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to add multiple tracks to your editing timeline. You can download our software for free at filmora.wondershare.com. The link is in the description. H4 Miss. Darn it! I don't want to play anymore. Come on. C4. Oh, sh Was it a hit? So here's what the timeline looks like for that skit that you just watched. The tracks I'm going to focus on in this tutorial are the picture-in-picture -picture tracks, text tracks, and audio tracks because those are the ones where you can add multiple track layers. I'm going to go ahead and delete those clips, that way I can show you how I added the additional track layers. Adding new picture-in-picture -picture tracks is very easy, because every time you add a clip to a picture-in-picture -picture layer, a new layer will be created. However, you can only have up to 10 picture-in-picture -picture tracks. One of the benefits of having multiple layers is you can have multiple effects show up at the exact same time. One of the examples is when you see the explosion go off, that is actually two elements combined together. That way I can make the explosion look a little bigger and more impactful. Adding text tracks is a little different. Right now you can see that I only have one text track. In order for me to add a second or third, I need to click on the add new track button in the bottom left corner. If you're using Filmora on a Mac, then the button you're looking for will be in the top left corner of the timeline and will be a little plus symbol. Now I just select the drop down menu to choose how many track layers I want. And if you ever want to delete a text track, then you can just open up the add new track window and change it back to one or two layers. Having multiple text tracks is nice because sometimes you might want to show more than one thing on the screen at the same time. In the case of this video, I added a letter box, which are the black bars you can see on the top and bottom of the video. I also created an orange rectangle and then I lowered the opacity to give the video a warm feeling. And then I had one last text track layer and I added in the mission complete text just to wrap things up at the end of the video. Adding audio tracks are the same as adding text tracks. Go down to the bottom left corner and click on add new track. If you're using Filmora on a Mac computer, then you can add more audio tracks by clicking on the plus symbol in the top left section of the timeline area. Then you can select whether you want one, two, or three audio tracks. This is a nice feature to have because there might be times where you want to have multiple audio sources playing at the same time. In the video you watched, at one point there was music playing and then you heard an explosion sound effect go off. I wouldn't be able to do this if I only had one audio track available. I should also mention that the newest update of Filmora 8.3 includes sound effects now. So if you go into the music tab and then in the top left corner you can see the subgroups. If you click on sound effects, you'll have a few to choose from that you can add into your own videos. Hope you enjoyed this Filmora tutorial. Be sure to tune in every week to learn how to edit videos. And if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button.